The repercussions of COVID-19 are wide-reaching and so large that the scope is really difficult to trace. However, you know, emerging research has shown that the impact of the pandemic disproportionately affects marginalized communities. My name is Tobias Wiggins, and I'm an assistant professor at Athabasca University in Women's and Gender Studies in the Center for Interdisciplinary Studies and I use he, him pronouns. So today I'll use the words trans and transgender interchangeably uh, to act as an umbrella term for trans, gender non-conforming, non-binary and two-spirit identities. My latest research is called Transgender Mental Health During COVID-19 Digital World Building in Alberta, and it has three main components. The first component of the research takes a look at the effects of COVID-19 on transgender mental health in Alberta. The second part of my research considers how trans communities already have a kind of unique knowledge and skill set to help them deal with the difficulties of the pandemic. So I really recenter those skills and knowledges. And then the third component looks at that digital world building. So how are trans communities drawing on things like social media to come together and support each other during this difficult time? Our research team is setting up in-depth interviews with trans Albertans and from all over Alberta, you know, research tends to focus in on urban centers, you know, like Calgary and Edmonton. So we're really looking into tapping into those rural locations as well to do in-depth interviews where we can talk to people about their experiences. And that's a really important component, uh, centering the voices of trans people, but it's also intersectional, meaning that we're focusing on trans folks from all different lived experiences and identities. A big part of that intersectional approach is focusing in on decolonial methodologies and Indigenous-centered research methods. And we have a really strong commitment to decolonial research on our team, and that includes collaborations with Indigenous scholars and working closely with Albertan Two-Spirit organizations. We want this research to have a positive impact on Canadian responses to COVID-19 for marginalized populations. We have to act really fast as researchers right now to respond to a crisis um, that is overwhelming for everyone, in particular for marginalized communities. So hopefully at a baseline, you know, having these conversations, doing these interviews in the community will really help garner the information that we need to help create, you know, better systems of community care, to inform policy, to inform healthcare, and how to better respond to the issues trans people face during the pandemic. But then also as a part of community-based research, the outcome is going to be determined by the community. And in having those conversations, I think that there can be a type of healing or a way that our participants' mental health can be positively impacted because they're participating in community building. And also because we're doing all these interviews online, there's a kind of a digital world building that's actually being facilitated with the research process itself.